Hi, in this video we will discuss what is flow control and error control and then we will discuss the taxonomy of protocols or the classification of protocols which are used for flow control and error control. The data link layer is the second layer in the OSI model and the functions of the data link layer we have already studied in detail in the earlier videos. So we know that the two main functions of the data link layer are flow control and error control. So first in this video we will see what is this flow control and error control. So first let us discuss flow control. Now flow control is used to control the speed of data transmission or in simple words we can say that it will tell how fast the data can be sent. Now consider this is the sender and this is the receiver and say suppose the sender is sending the data at a very high speed that is sender is sending the data very fast and consider that the receiver is very slow in receiving and processing the data. So if the sender is sending very fast and the receiver is slow in processing the data then the receiver will be overflowing with all the messages. And if the receiver is overflowing with all the messages, then in that case, it can even discard some of the messages. So as a result, in order to prevent overflowing of the receiver or overwhelming of the receiver, the flow control mechanisms are used. So this flow control, I used to inform the sender about the amount of data that can be transmitted before receiving an acknowledgement from the receiver. Another important functionality of data link layer is error control. So this error control will include both error detection as well as error correction. So this error detection methods are only concerned with whether an error has occurred or whether it has not occurred. But the error correction method finds out the exact location of error and then it will correct that particular error. But in data link layer, we mostly focus on error detection and if there are any errors, that is if there are any frames which are lost or damaged, then that particular frame will be retransmitted. So there are various protocols which are used for flow and error control. Now these protocols can be divided into those that can be used for noiseless channels and those that can be used for noisy channels. See actually these noiseless channels will not exist in real life. So these protocols under noiseless channels are only used for understanding purpose and noiseless channel meaning we will assume that they are error free. So for noiseless channel there are two types of protocols that is simplest protocol and stop and wait protocol and for noisy channel there are three types that is stop and wait ARQ go back and ARQ and selective repeat ARQ where ARQ stands for automatic repeat request. So in the next videos we will discuss each of these protocols in detail.